Hi, I'm Leslie Logan. I'm here at my Pilates studio in Los Angeles, and today we're going to talk about teaser on the Cadillac. This is my favorite teaser to teach anybody before I teach any teaser. Um, it really is helpful to teach teaser here because it can be way more successful than on the mat when you go to do it for the first time and you're like, oh my god, what do you want me to do? <laughs> you want me to fold myself in half like that? It's crazy. So, um, we have a spring from above, which makes it very helpful. Um, my teaser, my push through bar has this little wedge in the middle, which for me, I was always taught this uh, can go over their neck and then you can use it to measure if they've been moving back and forth or if you've been moving back and forth while you're rolling up and down. So um, I'm going to use this to help me measure where I am on the mat. If your bar is just round and doesn't have that little wedge, you're, you um, may be may be able to set yourself up too far back or too far forward. So a quick rule of thumb is the bar right over your neck is probably a good spot to be in. Okay, so I'm going to lie down. And I'm going to have my legs straight. And so this is one of the things that's really great about um, doing T's on the calyx first. You can leave the legs down and just do the top half. So we'll do that first. I'm going to make sure I'm in the right spot. So this bar should barely be above my head. And you can do this big reach and you can let people even... Oh, stretch their arms off their back and then kind of let them find their back with their arms so that um, they learn how to stay connected with their arms on their back when they do teaser. Because on the mat, you want the same exact thing. It really helps stay connected to the obliques and the serratus, right? So when I roll up for this first one, we'll pretend I'm brand new and I'll leave my legs down and I'm just going to reach my arms up and roll up. And then I'm going to reach my center back and roll down and reach back. And since that went really well, right, we're going to add the legs in. So I'm going to roll up and float my legs up. And they don't have to go too high. They just go to the level of my eyes. And then I can stay here and roll down or I can stay up here and pull and do a shave. And the important thing about the shave is that it just helps me connect my arms to my back more. It makes me have to hold myself up here and it challenges my abdominal connection, right? We don't want to be doing things like this up here. So you want to be able to move your arms around and not change your, um, change how you stay connected to your back. My springs are are talking to us, excuse them. <laughs> so now we're gonna roll up. We're gonna stay up and my arms are still connected to my back and I'm reaching up, but now I can lower and lift my legs. So this really helps people learn teaser two on the mat because they have something to reach up into so they don't feel like they're just on their own. And then everything rolls down together and reach it back. And everything rolls up. And then we're gonna come all the way up and the arms and legs can go together, right? If someone's learning this for the first time, they probably won't do all three on the first day. But if you've been doing this a lot with them, you can really help challenge that exercise with them. Okay, now we can do several other things. You can do circles up here as a variation if someone's more advanced. You can really practice the hip circles. You can do circles with both like separating up here. You can dismount up here, right? And you can do your little boomerang. Give yourself a stretch. There's a lot you can do when you're playing with this. Um, I would suggest it's a really good place to teach people the variations you want them to do when they're doing teasers on the mat because, again, they have something to reach up into. A couple key things I didn't go over while we were doing this. As you roll up, your arms are straight. So some people, as soon as their arms pass their forehead, they start rolling up. And that's not great. You want to have straight arms when you roll up. The other thing is, as they start to roll down, they already start to pull the bar down. We don't want that. We actually want to reach up into the bar to roll down. If they start pulling down the bar, it makes it almost impossible for them to keep their center on. Then they're basically falling down or they knock themselves in the head with their own bar. So you want to, um, whenever your spine is moving, your arms should be straight. And when the bar is moving, your arms can be bent. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, but so the way I usually teach people the teaser is we learn it here first. And then even though on the mat, it's pretty freaking hard, we do it there. Um, I think on the reformer is the easiest place to do teaser, but it's also the scariest place because the equipment moves. So before you teach them on the reformer, they have to have done it here. It's just a really 
cool rule of thumb. <laughs> um, it'll help them be way more successful. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, you can comment or request below. And if you subscribe to uh, this channel, then you won't miss any of our downloads on any how-tos here on the Cadillac or any other piece of equipment. I'm Lessa Logan. I'm so grateful that you're here. Thank you so much. And I hope you have an amazing day.